Guns aren't for threats, they're for actions. Are you willing to risk your life? Everybody watching this video, everybody to ever exist ever, has got to put respect on my nigga Luffy's name. If you already do, then yes sir, that me gang. If you don't, well listen here you little sh- After this video, everybody will respect Luffy because nigga Luffy's that guy. But before I talk about the greatness of the straw hat man that'll ultimately make you respect him, I'm gonna clear Luffy of like two allegations. The first allegation are the Goku clone allegations now i will say this <coughs> Luffy is not a Goku clone, cut that out now. Just because they're both goofy and box dudes hard paws. Hey yo, what the fuck? Does not mean he's a clone. Just because Luffy loves to eat does not mean he's a clone. Can a brother not be hungry? Can a brother not feast? Can a brother enjoy his cuisines in peace without critique? <laughs> Do you wanna know who else is goofy, likes to fight and eats a lot? Naruto. Wanna know who else? Not Sue. Are they Goku clones? No. Yivimi. So boom, I freed Luffy from that allegation the second allegation is the luffy got no drip allegations now i can kind of see where people are coming from because this is luffy's main outfit but guess what though if you look closely those are the east blue 12s on his feet they're better than yeezy slides they're better than nike slides they're better than crocs they're so lie so boom it's not a bad fit it's a calm fit and then bro got other good fits too like oh my goodness gracious like look right here you can't lie he got that shit on though luffy you know what i'm saying got drip and just like that bro beat the goku clone in no drip allegations not gonna lie those allegations should not have been placed on bro but hey it be like that so now i'm gonna just talk about how goaded monkey d luffy is and after that you'll respect him because like the greatness now luffy just undeniably just has that dog in him the d in monkey d luffy stands for dog a good example of him displaying dog is when bro fights that nigga does not care who you are who you think you are all of that nigga if he got beef with you he got beef with you if he wants to touch you nigga he'll touch you and that's because bro is never scared towards the beginning of the show this dude named don krieg was trying to pull up where luffy was everybody was like oh my gosh don krieg he's coming the strongest pirate in the east blue but luffy was not phased at all nigga luffy was like okay and them bro was just cooling with absolute zero fear in his heart later on in the day and by later on i mean like 10 minutes don creek pulled up and just started spazzing so you know what i'm saying luffy beat his ass and not gonna lie it's that simple well luffy did tank like sharp bullets to beat his ass but he still beat his ass don creek was tweaking luffy ain't like that so he got his ass dealt with and that's how it was with like basically every villain that luffy fought after don creek arlong was the greatest threat to the east blue but guess what he got his ass dealt with too now as for the why he got dealt with is cause Luffy's W mans but I'ma talk about that later but his no caring hand throwing did not stop in the east blue bro went to the grand line and was boxing like three warlords of the sea crocodile doflamingo aka dofi aka joker aka stay 10 miles away from this dude unless you want to die in this fat head and by the way if you don't watch one piece just know the seven warlords are basically seven real ass niggas and negresses but bro wasn't just boxing warlords bro boxed a dude who claimed he was god because he had lightning powers bro could do this so bro thought he was cool but he still got packed up by luffy so i guess he's still a bitch bro boxed a flying leopard nigga and folded him too bro even went down into the sea where fish live and fought a fish man off perks so you would think a fish man off strength perks will win because they're in the sea and all that right nope. the fish man got folded by luffy too how you let a nigga fold you in your own habitat bro bro got folded in his own climate you know what i'm saying that that that's then in Wano at only 19 years old, two years were really one year for real of being a pirate, bro was boxing with some of the strongest pirates in that damn show. Now the first fight with Luffy and Kaido, you know what I'm saying, we don't talk about the first fight with Luffy and Kaido, but after that, that nigga Luffy was boxing. If he wants to throw hands, guess what, he'll throw hands with you. And like, you gotta respect that, you gotta respect the dude who will throw hands with anybody no matter what. Even with Whitebeard in the war, bro was talking crazy to the strongest pirate alive, the same pirate who you know make tsunamis for fun bro was like not gonna lie whitebeard you a bitch i know what you're trying to do you're trying to become the pirate king right well guess what that's gonna be me goofy oh 
Oh my god Bro Luffy was talking hot like he's that nigga And shit who's finna tell him he's not Are you? No Yeeveen. Luffy just has that dog in him when it comes to fighting and wanting <laughs> smoke And you just gotta respect that dog Bro is probably a dog cause his whole family some dogs His grandpa was a dog Back in his heyday head and Bro was boxing on par with the king of the pirates My nigga Raj Bro's nickname is the hero of the navy That's like how you know LeBron's the hero of the NBA <laughs> Not gonna lie, no one has ever called LeBron the hero of the NBA. I'm tweaking. Shaboing boing, get the dick out your mouth. But for real, Garp is just a dog ass old man. He's 78, moving like he's 25. You know what I'm saying? You love to see it. Nigga moving like he me. I ain't 25 though. Luffy's father, Monkey D Dragon, also has that dog in him. Now, I've never seen bro fight. Honestly, I've barely even seen bro talk. But he is the leader of the Revolutionary Army, and you gotta be a dog for all that. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Luffy's grandfather and father are some dog ass niggas. His brother are too. His brother Ace was the second division commander of the White Beard Pirates at age 20. You want to know what most dudes are doing at age 20? Listening to the greatest singer of all time, SZA. But Ace, at 20, he was in them fields posted. Them bro was too posted in. But you know what I'm saying, bro was still a dog and died like a dog too. And his other brother Sabo, bro was the second in command of Dragon's revolutionary army. He booms niggas in the name of freedom. And Luffy's mom? We've never seen Luffy's mom. Luffy wouldn't be a true shonen MC if both parents were alive, so like yeah. But bro's family is cold. And while Luffy is a dog when it comes to fighting and like everything, as I said before, Luffy is also just so W man. He's the most W man's person you'll ever meet in your damn life. If you're in one one Piece and somehow befriend Luffy, just know you're good. That man will literally go through hell and back just for you, bruh. And all you gotta do to become his friend is give bro some food. Go to Burger King, you know what I'm saying? Get a Whopper, 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 whopper. and some water. Track down Luffy somehow, I don't know, don't look at me. Then give bro the food. After that, not gonna lie, you're living. Whatever you need, he's there. If you got beef with someone, he's there. If you get robbed and need your stuff back, he's there. If you're black, he's there. Zoro isn't though. Zoro might cut your balls off and sell them for 30 bands. But besides Zoro, the whole rest of the crew is there. And they're there because, like I just said, Luffy's W mans. Bro saved a whole country called Alabasta all because some girl needed help. A whole warlord was trying to take over their country. Nigga was stealing their reign, stealing their everything. Nigga, he was doing some L man stuff, not gonna lie. Bro would take out other pirates who came to Alabasta to look like a hero so he wouldn't be suspected of doing stuff behind the scenes. Bro, low key a genius. Bro, think he Eisen. Bro was, you know what I'm saying, being a villain. So the girl, aka Vivi, aka the princess told Luffy that and Luffy was like say no more bro pulled up to Alabasta punched VV I'm not gonna give no context on why pulled up on crocodile got smacked pulled up on crocodile again got smacked so bro took two L's but guess what success is built upon multiple L's so he spun back and beat the brakes off him crocodile got sent so high in the sky you think bro trying to meet the law then boom Luffy saved the whole entire country because he's just W mans then bro partook in a feast right after you already Already know hungry and but it's crazy because that's not even his best w man's feet he has some mothers like breaking into a marine base to save robin she got kidnapped by a secret government agency so luffy and gang pulled up to their base beat their ass and got robin back he also spun back for nami against this shark this man arlong killed nami's mom then terrorized her whole village and not to mention forcing nami to do child labor so when luffy saw nami crying you already know what he did Yibim. bro placed his hat on Nami's head, took Zoro, Sanji, and Usopp and performed the coldest walk in all of anime history, pulled up to Arlong's crib, punched him in the face, then, like everyone else, beat the brakes off him. Then boom, he saved Nami, saved the village, and saved you from v buck scams. What? So he has multiple W man's feats, but his most W man's feat was definitely him trying to save Ace. Ace was about to die, so he snuck on a marine ship, sailed to the most heavily guarded prison in the show, folded half the prison because, like I said, bro got hands, got smacked and almost died, but guess what? He ain't died because he's a dog. Ace got moved to Marine 4, so Luffy got up, left the prison, and went to Marine 4 too in the middle of a war. All that just to try and save Ace.
you honestly just gotta respect W mans of that caliber, bruh. I sincerely hope you do respect W mans of that caliber because if not, it's gonna get wicked. If you don't respect Luffy for being W mans, are you even W mans? But Luffy being W mans and having that dog in them aside, I can't possibly make a Monkey D Luffy video without talking about how Luffy is the Riz man. You honestly just gotta respect the Riz that he has. Sin. Sin City was Mavia. Bro pulled Rebecca, Shirahoshi, Margaret, Boa Hancock, and a whole island full of women without trying. Like, bro, who you know is doing that? Like, Boa Hancock, psh, she don't even like dudes. She actually, like, hates men. But Luffy still pulled her. That actually, like, shouldn't even be possible. Bro's Riz transcends common sense. He actually got reality bending Riz. I'm perplexed. And on top of that, Boa Hancock is, like, canically the baddest in the show. So, Bro pulled the baddest woman woman in the show who also hates men while being a man sensational <laughs> absolutely sensational ah luffy my god god damn get off that nigga dick bro <laughs> Monkey D. Luffy overall is just a Rizzly W. Man's homo sapien who got that dog in him. And for that, put some respect on his name before I get mad. Off topic, but drink lemonade. It is good. But yeah, that's it. Subscribe and that big I went to the party and was getting sturdy. I got a Ferrari and was going 30. I got a Ferrari and was going 90. 2-3 hit my like Jordan like Nike. Sitting course, I have the game like I'm Spike Lee. Open a 2K, hop on the mighty.